Hey guys, how's it going? This is Natinator. And we're back with Fragile Dreams Farewell Runes of the Moon. And well, I'm carrying on right from last time, and well, we're in this cutscene now. <laughs> Rubble. No boy! Well, looks like a dead end. Guess he means business. Huh? A dead end? In other words, we're trapped in here. Hmm. Well, that can't be right. Oh. I guess this is the end. Huh? What's the matter? You're a guy, aren't you? It's too early to throw in the towel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. What is it? Would you... Um... Well, would you like to hear my story? Oh my god, I uh, hope she'd say that. Sure. A long time ago. Long ago, there was a brilliant scientist who discovered, well, the secret of interaction. That is, how humans connect emotionally. The hidden ability to communicate without words. Way in the past, people could have connected with each other using that power. So a bunch of really smart scientists got together to study the idea. They thought if they could reawaken this power in everybody, we wouldn't have to use words to understand one another. They concluded that it'd make the world a better place. There were wars at that time. People argued and fought over little things and big things alike. Everything was a point of contention, and people grew tired of it. The whole world was unanimous in supporting the project. Using a machine they called Glass Cage, oh. humans sent a signal around the world to try and trigger the latent empathy faculty in people's heads. This would enable everyone to naturally harmonize with one another. After that, what happened? Well, everybody was excited. Now that they could convey exactly what was in their hearts, all sorts of misunderstandings and ill will would vanish overnight. That's what they thought. The entire world was bubbling with hope. Everyone believed it was the dawn of a new era. They believed and believed and smiled themselves to sleep. Uh, but then the next morning no one woke up. Hmm. They slept, and stayed like that forever. That's how they all died. And you think it's happening again? Yeah. That girl? She's gonna be the catalyst for it. Catalyst? Her heart will make the connection. And connect with everybody else on Earth. If it succeeds. What if it doesn't work? I told you. It'll be worse this time. Not a single soul will escape. <laughs> and guess what? Oh, no way. The first time around? I was the catalyst. So that's how she knows everything, then. But, Sai, I don't get it. How did... How did you end up as the catalyst? Don't look at me. I have no idea. I lived a typical, ordinary life. And then one day, they forced me to take all these tests. Before I knew what was going on, they decided to use me. They plugged all these cords into my head, made me take strange medicines. It was all very weird. I'm telling you, in all my days, I'd never felt such intense pain. It happened every day. More experiments. They didn't care at all how I felt. But there was this guy. 
He had a heart. Sometimes he'd slip me chocolates and candy. He'd even stop by and ask me if I was doing okay. And also... He thanked me... nicely. I see. So, you and that guy... well... you were like friends. <laughs> you crack me up. I mean, I wouldn't exactly call Shin and I friends. If I had to label us, we were... Wait a minute. How'd that cat get in here? <laughs> the door's still locked shut. And the exit is blocked with rubble. Quick! After him! He might lead us to a way out! Oh, okay. Follow the cat's cries to find the exit. Well, Sai, there's a lot that you should have told me. But you didn't. See, all those markings on your body, it makes sense now. And like she said, she's got that, um... How the hell did they not see this before? They're just like, oh no, we're blocked in. <laughs> Bloody hell. Okay. I found it! The cat's meowing on the other side. If you crouch down, you should be able to fit. Way it does nothing. Ah, oh, this is going to take a while. Walking while crouched is annoying. Look at that! It was a... You could see it. But clearly. It was clearly not a dead end, Sai. That was a bum steer and you know it. But yeah. Maybe I'll sit hmm. down. That's so weird. So she was what caused the apocalypse, pretty much. Well, not her directly, but she was used in it, at least. And let's see. So Shin was like her friend, but now he's just gone bonkers, I guess. And that's why he's trying to do it again. Maybe he thinks he can do it. Uh, let's go this way. Branch off first. What does that say? A journey begins with one step. That's true. That is very true. What have we got in here? Monsters? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, you're good to go. And you're good to go. Oh shit, I didn't beat him. I'll just grab that. Oh, and I leveled up too. Didn't notice. Come on. Bring it on, robot man. Huh? What do you got? What do you got? You got nothing. Come on. All oh, the enemies in this game are sometimes very annoying. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Fuck you then, I'm done. But yeah, so... I don't know though, Sai. It sounds like you had a bit of that, um... I can't remember what it's called though. It just means when you're sympathizing with the people who capture you. So, like... Ah, oh crap. It starts with S, I think. Whatever. Something syndrome. It's the same cat from before! It sounds like it's fucking dying. Follow the cat to reach the exit. Alright. Hmm. So there's something this way. Maybe another mystery item. Let's go check it out. Enemies? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, let's get you. You are a bitch. Oh, nice try. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here and grab this. And then I'm gonna kill you. Yeah boy. Well, that was a lot better than the last one, at least. Okay. Um, hallways. And more hallways. Whoa, whoa. Fucking Seto, calm down. Uh, there he is. How did he get here in the first place? Uh, wait. Hmm. 
The way that Sai just said wait makes me think that she's also the silver haired girl's voice actor. Not sure. Guess it doesn't really matter that much. Let's see, there's a bonfire over there, according to the map. This looks a bit like a fucking... The map looks like a SWAT sticker. Let's go this way. There might be a, uh... Ah, there's two dead ends, but they both might have mystery items, so... I'm gonna check them out. <laughs> Screw you. I'm just grabbing my mystery item and leaving. Sorry. No time to mess with you guys. I think that my invent... Seto. I think my inventory might be full, so... I'm gonna quickly, um, check out my mystery items. I wonder if I picked up, like, a memory. I could do with a memory right about now. Man, I'm getting sleepy. Wow, very cool. Oh, cool, baby sock. Though you're still so small, you'll soon be born. So this message is for you. There may come a day when you'll curse being born into this world. You'll wonder what you did to deserve this. And you'll probably have plenty of bitter words to tell me. But... But I don't think I'll be around by then to listen to your complaints. I want you to know... how truly sorry I am. I just want you to believe this. No matter what happens, all we wanted was for you to be happy. Hmm. Okay. A ledger. To-do list. One. Eat a whole cake by myself. Two. Share a meal with my family. Three. Visit all the friends I can. Four. Read all the books I've wanted to. Five, buy the clothes I always dreamed of. Six, make up with that certain somebody. Oh. Okay. Oh, and another Bell story. Silver Bell Chris. The Silver Bell wasn't a particularly outstanding decoration, but it did ring the most beautifully. I'd always wondered what kind of home such a lovely bell had come from. It belonged to an old woman who lived alone without relatives, in a large mansion I'd never seen before. Madam, it's time for supper. Thank you, dear. Madam, the lilies in the garden have bloomed. I've put them in this vase. What a lovely scent. Madam, it started raining. Allow me to close the windows. Yes. And draw the curtains, too. The old woman was waited on hand and foot by her servants. She'd rely on their help as she sat idly in her chair, listening to her favorite music. She'd even ask them to change out the records. But most of the servants seemed to genuinely adore their employer. But there was one thing the old woman would ask several times a day. Excuse me, but could you call Chris here for me? Later that same day. Oh, where is Chris? And again, even later. Please find Chris for me. Though normally obedient, this one request was always met with hesitation. Madam, Chris is already... The maids would start cautiously. Oh, yes. You're quite right, the old woman would say, cutting them off. She's not with us anymore, is she? Mm, I'd nearly forgotten. She'd murmur with a nod. But not a few hours later, she'd ask the same questions again. She had them stop her favorite record. Oh, where... Never could my darling Chris be. One rainy night, the mansion was in an uproar. Madam? <gasps> Madam! The servants dashed through the halls in a frenzy. Finally, one of the maids shouted in despair. <sighs> Why can't I find her cane? Though it wasn't too cold outside, 
The sheets of rain continued to pour relentlessly. She couldn't have gone outside, could she? A chill passed over the gathered servants before they set out. They put on their coats and called for help outside. I tore my eyes from them and made for the rain-drenched town. Amidst the downpour, I smelled the sweet fragrance of lily. In the back lane of a park, far from the mansion, I made out the figure of the old woman. She was surrounded by a crowd who moved and gabbed around her. Come on, lady, you'll catch your death out here. Maybe you should see the police. The old woman's shoes and designer clothes were soaked through. A man tried taking her by the hand, but the old woman refused to budge, her face adamant. Fed up with her antics, the men finally left, leaving her behind. I cautiously stepped just into her field of vision, and without saying a word, rang my silver bell. It rang clear through the rain. The old woman raised her head sharply in surprise, her blurry eyes looking at me. Chris? The old lady rasped. I rang the bell again in a nod and then turned around. Chris, wait! Wait for me! Her cane clicked as she followed me. I may not be able to carry her all the way to the mansion, but it'd be enough to bring her to her servants. I stopped often to look over my shoulder to make sure I didn't lose her. The sound of that beautiful bell was a beacon. At last, one of the servants noticed the old woman and shouted, Madam. As she ran towards her, the old woman bent down to scoop me up and held me, trembling. The servants weren't able to hide their surprise, seeing how much the late Chris had changed upon her return. Not one of them said that I wasn't Chris. Because the old woman called me so, the maids nodded in obedience, just glad that their beloved employer had returned home safe. I am Chris. Chris with her silver bell. I'm the tiny, adorable Chris, loved by her grandmother in this grand mansion. Huh. I swear, those stories are always really good. <clears throat> I don't know what it is about them, I wish they'd explain. Like, it's always the same voice actor, but... Is it like, the same girl? Or is it like, I don't know. It's so weird. But anyway, there was one room that I missed. I'm gonna go and check it out, this way. Yeah, it's just... I don't know. I like them. I don't know if anyone else likes them. But, oh boy. There's nothing in here. Ooh, double knockdown. They're both still alive. And now they're gonna fuck around. Oh no, they're not. Shit. Oh, oh, oh. I think that they're just money ones, so I'm not going to worry about it. No worries. Alright. But Seto... When Seto turns corners, he, like, gets stuck on them. Like, like that. What the hell? I guess it's because the pointer is on the wall and he's looking at it. Can't really turn. That's okay. No worries. Okay, what's going on in here, then? I never expected a weakling like you to make it this far. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> it's this thing again. What are you? Hey, it's no use! Look out! I do not have to answer to you. Any threat to the project must be eliminated. 
he in allegiance with Shin? Oh shit. He's so useless. He's so bad. Like he keeps talking big about himself, but he's just shit. Oh crap, I couldn't get a combo on. I bet you wish that you were good, but you're just crap. You're like the worst person all history. Get out of here. Fool. Your existence amounts to nothing more than a goldfish swimming upriver. When we were conceived, the age of man ended. What? What are you talking about? Our plan is on schedule. <clears throat> Make the most of the little time you have left. Wait. Were they created by this we have glass to act cage fast. thing? Right. Maybe they were. I have no idea. It looks like we have to go down this way. So, I'm all out of time for this episode though, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope that you are enjoying the series. And well, I'll see you guys in the next piece of shit that I upload, so stay tuned for more.